if you are ever asked what is your blood group, you simply tell what it is of A, B, A, B and O, whichever group you are having you quote it and you put another uh, suffix I would say that is positive or negative along with it, right. Now what is that positive and negative, what is uh, with these blood grouping system? We are going to talk about that and our topic now is RH factor. It is that factor that adds that suffix whether it is positive or negative. If I am to be asked what is my blood group, I would say either it is A positive or A negative, B positive or B negative and whatever the case is you know very well now. Now you must not say any other uh, group if you are asked but normally there are 45 different types in which blood groups are uh, classified human blood groups there are 45 different categories in which human 45 different methods rather I would say okay to uh, identify the blood groups which is certainly based on the presence of antigens we had talked about what antigens are so on the presence on the basis of presence of antigens we have as many as 45 different human blood grouping systems okay now out of those 45 we oftenly deal with one is a b o that is A, B, A, B or O blood group and we add positive or negative to it. Now this positive or negative is what it is rhesus factor, okay. Now this rhesus type of blood grouping it also deals with 49 types of antigens. On the basis of 49 types of antigens, this rhesus blood grouping is carried out. Out of these 49 types, 5 types of antigens are of prime importance. Out of these 5 types, one antigen, antigen D, whether present or not present decides if it is going to be positive or negative. If antigen D is present, we add positive rhesus positive would be the blood group and if antigen D is absent then the blood group is negative. So most uh, widely used type of blood grouping is ABO and rhesus factor grouping. In rhesus factor as I told you in the rhesus category of blood grouping we have 49 types of antigens. Out of those 49 5 types are of great importance. Out of those 5 antigen D is responsible for telling whether the individual is positive in ABO blood grouping or it is negative okay that is what is being used that is why you often say if somebody is having O positive blood group that means it is having antigen D and antigen which is responsible for O as well and uh, those who have O blood group they do not have any, any antigen so you can make it out what would be the basic concept behind blood grouping. Now because our topic deals with RH factor we are going to talk about that antigen D plus and minus positive and negative and we understand this importance of RH factor from the topic of blood transfusion. Okay, now blood transfusion that too in conditions where the fetus will have a different rhesus factor from that of mother. Okay. Now supposedly you are transfusing blood O negative to someone who is O positive. So certainly the one who is having O positive blood group has antigen D. Alright. Now the antibodies would be produced against it. Certainly they would be produced against it if the o positive is replaced by negative. And such case when we study in case of individuals where the mother is of different blood group that is going to be studied to understand better how this blood transfusion RH factor importance is there in the medicinal world around us. Now supposedly the mother is RH negative that means she is not having the antigen okay she normally does not have an antigen so the antibodies would be present inside the body but because no antigen is there so normally the mother would be leading a life. Now this mother gives birth or this mother is pregnant to a child who is having RH positive blood group. What happens is inside the body of mother antibodies will be produced 
against the antigen that is D antigen, right? But due to the presence of placenta and this being the first encounter in mother's body, these antibodies will not be strong enough to kill the first child, okay? Or to kill the cells of the child that is the first born. Now, this mother delivers the child, it's okay, fine, you have had a negative mother is having a positive child, but supposedly, now again in the second pregnancy, she has a RH positive child. What will happen in this case? There would be a condition known as erythroblastosis fetalis. Now, what is this? mother's body will start eating up the RBCs of the fetus. That means the mother's body would become hostile to the child. The very place where the child has to survive or the fetus has to survive, that very body is going to eat up. It is producing antibodies. Now, in the previous pregnancy, as we had seen, that the child was delivered normally because the antibodies were having the first encounter against the antigen, D antigen. The second child, if he or she, the fetus brings along D antigen, this body of mother is now highly accustomed to give a, give a response, a, an immune response which would be highly staggered and now the antibodies will pass on placenta and they would start eating up the RBCs of the child, right? Example of a killer mother, unknowingly the mother is killing the child. So you can make it out that this erythroblastosis fetalis is a fatal condition where the fetus is in a constant danger of getting, uh, getting killed by mother's antibodies which are being generated because the previous child that the mother had, had given the body enough information about the D antigen. Alright, so you can make it out that how difficult it would be for blood transfusion as well. Within the mother's body, the first child was safe but the second child is not safe because the mother's body is now producing the antibodies against this particular antigen. Now it can cross the placenta and it can eat up child's RBCs, okay. The phagocytosis would take place. Because of that, the child will be highly anemic and could be born dead as well. So you get to know that how this negative and positive effect or the, this negative and positive grouping has also a role to play in blood transfusion. That is why it is often asked, apart from your ABO blood grouping, which positive or negative blood group should also be discussed. It is nothing. It is this rhesus factor. Now, why it has been named rhesus, we know it from our understanding of previous classes that this factor or this D antigen was found in a rhesus monkey as well. So, they named it, okay. And who were the two people who discussed this rhesus factor? If they were uh, in 1937, Landsteiner and Wiener, okay, two people. They had studied about this RH blood grouping and then it was discovered that how erythroblastosis fetalis occurs if the mother is RH negative and the children uh, coincidentally are RH positive. The second child is in great threat of death. The first is normally delivered. So, keeping this situation in mind, you can understand the importance that the antigen plays in the immune response of an individual. So, this is what I want you to understand from this lesson and I hope you have got an idea what my actual motto of this lesson was.